Welcome to Central Vermont uh, Music Musicians Television. I'm your host, April, and tonight we have Wolf Larson. And um, before I introduce the band, I just want to say that pay attention at the end if you want to be on the show or you want to sponsor the show or whatever else, because you know when the credits roll, make sure you watch them because that'll tell you how to do it. And so uh, right here we have Tim on guitar. We have Chris on drums. Chris, right? And we have uh, Scott here, bass. And we have another Chris on the guitar. And so here we go with Wolf Larson. <laughs> written by myself and Tim and all of our dear friends from the uh, late Chandelier Fred. Uh, so Silas and, and uh, Mama Fred, Josh, uh, Tyler and uh, Rob, wherever you're at. Thanks for the help with that one. Um, yeah, and this next one is uh, also a little collaboration. Tim and uh, Missy Perouse, who uh, plays in The Urge. It's a song called Truce. <laughs>
This is uh, Central Vermont Musicians Television. I'm April, and uh, I'm hosting the show. I'm hosting it with here with Coda, Coda Jones. Does Coda get something to say? Not really. Okay. Well, I'm here with Wolf Larson, 
And uh, I guess what I want to know first is uh, what, where did you get the name Wolf Larson? <laughs> hey, Mr. Chris Martin's up. Yeah. That's, that's my <laughs> question. Uh, Wolf Larson was a character in um, Sea Wolf. He uh -huh. was a sea captain. And yeah. brother named Death or something? Yeah, his brother was Death. <laughs> Death, Death Larson. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jack London book. Huh. Yeah. Wow. So, um, all right. Well, well, what, uh, what? My next question, I guess, is what are your what are your influences? What do you guys like to listen to? Well, <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough one. I'm not going to speak for everybody because I haven't got the slightest. It's a big uh, right. mishmash. Um, personally, uh, big fan of Clapton and mm -hmm. um, old Clapton stuff. Lots of classic rock. Right. Uh, let me think. What else? Everything. Springsteen. Right. And then. Yeah, and then whatever else, some old blues, and I'm gonna give it back to him so he can tell right. you. Right. Okay. I like all the stuff that Lenny records. <laughs> <laughs> that who records? Lenny. Butter up the Lenny. sound guy, Chris. <laughs> <Thanks>. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I, I like uh, John Hyatt and the Stones and mm -hmm. a lot of classic rock. Hmm. Wow. Well, How about you? Me? Yeah. Yeah. I just bought the uh, Zamfir. And his magic and a pan flute <laughs> uh -huh. special edition box set. Was that and the one with all the polkas? <laughs> no, he he did the uh, Karate Kid soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a special special box set. Besides that, it was well autographed and it was good. Mostly speed metal. But besides that, right? Yeah, if it's not going 100 miles an hour, it's not going in my deck. Other than that, other than that, that's about it. Well, about Tim? Me? Yeah. Um, Frank Sinatra, definitely Frank Sinatra. All right then. Wow, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> That, that, that's all I have to say. That's the big okay. one that comes Frank to mind, Sinatra. probably. Yeah. Frank Sinatra. Uh, that's enough. All right then. Well, um, so so I know I've seen you guys at I've seen you at Charlie O's. World you famous you Charlie O's. World like famous that. Charlie O's, and I've seen you at a couple of other places. Where where have you played so far, and where do you plan on playing in the future? Um, well, we're playing Charlie O's, world famous Charlie O's again here real soon, right? Sometime soon, but. Huh. Yeah, we always, that's in the, the regular standard rotation. That's one of our favorite places to be. Like uh, the root of all evil, as I like to call it. <laughs> um, where do we plan on going? Well, I don't know. Any Anybody that's got a room that they want to have music in, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, money's negotiable. And uh, we'd like to yeah, we'd like to <laughs> at least like be to able to get some, get some gas so we can get home. Uh -huh. And uh, other than that, just give us a place to plug it in. Well, we just recorded an album, so. Hey, thanks for mentioning that, Tim. You know, that's. That's something um, pretty important that we're trying sure to take is. us to somewhere. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Well, we want to we want to go and play in all the places where original bands need to play. You know, I'd mm -hmm. like to see us go head towards Burlington, play up there. Um, there's a lot of great bands up there now, but I think we could fit right in nicely. Right. And sure. uh, you know, we're gonna still record stuff. This is a an eight song compilation that was written not only by us but by some other people too. Mm -hmm. And. Um, some of the ex-Chandelier Fredders, Josh Meyer and right. um, Silas Tanner and, and uh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, Missy Bruce from Nerge. Um, let's see, Bonnie helped us out. Um, just trying to think, there's all kinds of people. And Rob Orndorff and uh, well, it's Tyler Nielsen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wanted to make sure I mentioned all those guys because because without uh, them this time and uh, around you, it never would have happened. They were just there for the concept version. Mm -hmm. um, and the other person who helped us out a lot this last week was Gus. Gus at uh, Low Tech Studios. He, that's where we recorded this. And it was a 22-hour uh, masterpiece, as hmm. we like to call it. We, you know, we got a little bit more work to do on it, but um, it's, it's going to be out in time for Christmas, kids. So, you All know, right. make sure that goes on the bottom of your wish list. That's it's right. got a picture of Coda on the cover. I was just going to ask, is Coda truly going to be on Tru the cover? Truly. Um, <laughs> All right. There's a working title right now, but we're not going to tell you what it is. Okay. And, you know, just look for it. CDs. Cool. Okay. Um, so, if somebody wanted to get in touch with you to find out if you could play at their space, Chris, how would you like to that? field that one, please? Um, <laughs> you, can get, you can contact Wolf Larson. And Put that in front of your mouth. Why don't you? <laughs> you, you can contact Wolf Larson at 802-479-5195 for all your concert booking information. Um, we'd also like to thank Skippy's Wonderful World of Candles for all the, oh yeah. for all the beautiful Skippy. candles that you see here this evening. You are the man, Skippy. He gave us a discount on the bulk million candles we bought this evening. 
Yeah, they're all burnt out. Go figure. And other than that, I pretty much said my piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, how how long have you guys been together? Um, Way too long. Yeah. <laughs> Wolf Larson started in uh, April of '94. Okay. With the release of our first album that did not include the uh, the mysterious Tim Gregg and his aquatic guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> his mystical aquatic guitar. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a 11 song original thing and that was all across the board, blues and all kinds of stuff. That's still available too, by the way. Oh. Um, and uh, you know, and then eventually we ended up running across him. This group here has been together for about a year and a half, a little bit more. Okay. And uh, still going strong. We haven't killed yes each other you yet. Are. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. All right then. Well, yeah. You don't know. The next song. The next song is a song that I wrote. Um, a song called "I Think So." You think so? Okay. I think so. You don't know. This is Wolf Larson.
next one that we're going to do is a song that was written uh, by Mr. Chris Martin over there and the beautiful Bonnie wherever she went um, a song called Destination Stand on 
So now uh, we're going to do something a little slower and mellower here for you, even than that. Um, it's a song I wrote for Jody. So Jody, this one's for you, a song called When You're Not There.
she knows what you want Somehow it appears she wants me Yeah, she knows what she wants Somehow it appears she wants me They're all smoking right I swear she'd be able to see Come up the winter I never see them cold so hard Come up the winter now I see no cold so hard Warm up beside her And play her this song on my guitar April, and, uh, Koto, wherever he's at, thanks for coming down, and uh, all the CVM TV crew, been a great help, and uh, don't forget to tune in, folks.
Yo, 